Hello everyone and welcome back. Today, it being Black History Month, I want to talk about the future for a bit. I want to talk about what would Black History Month look like in, let's say, 20 years from now, right? Now, the reason why I say 20 years from now is because Black History Month is it's a very important holiday, I say holiday. You know, it should be celebrate all year round. But Black History Month is very important in the edification of black people across the world, really, not just this country, but across the world. And the demographic that is I would say most affected by this is the youth, the children, you know, elementary school, junior high, right? And I'm thinking to myself, what will black history turn into when these elementary school kids and these junior high kids become adults 20 years from now? You know, you have your, your 10, 11-year-olds, your 9-year-olds. Like 20 years from now, when they become 30, 29, you know, stuff like that. What will Black History Month look like to them in 20 years? And I say it because me, you know, when I was a child, the people that we will always talk about when I was a child was Martin Luther King, uh, Frederick Douglass, Harriet Tubman, Sojourner Truth, Malcolm X, um, Madam C.J. Walker, Carter G. Wood, well, not Carter G. Well, yeah, Carter G. Woodson, too. It's Carter G. Woodson, um, Mary McLeod Bethune, um, you know, just the, the names we always hear, right? And that's coming from a that's like that's like for the past hundred plus years, right? The black history that I was always taught as a kid was from the past hundred plus years. Now, because of technology the way it is and social media, it doesn't really take a hundred years to learn all this information, right? You can learn all this information. You can learn about every single person that I've, that I've just named in, you know, in, in, in a year. You just take all these names, just get all the information that you can about these people that I just named in a year, right? Which means, you know, what about the people in today's time that's making black history, right? Okay, we're, we're, living, we're living in black history as we speak. First black president, you know, well, you know, Besides James Hansen, the Constitutional Congress, but I'm talking about first black president after the Declaration of Independence. Okay? Barack Obama. Um, you know, you have people like Colin Kaepernick, you know, Venus and Serena Williams, LeBron James, Jay Z, Beyonce, um, Neil deGrasse Tyson, um, a whole host of black people, African Americans, just black people in, in general across the world that are making history as we speak. Now, to, to maybe, you know, the older generation, they it, it may not click for them because, you know, they're old enough to know about the, the people I just named before. Martin Luther King, Michael Max, all that stuff. They were that was their black history. My my generation, we had our black history also, but a lot of the times when I was in school, we got the black history from a hundred years ago, up until you know time I was younger. You know, we got a, we got Michael Jordan. You know, like when I was young, there was no Tiger Woods, there was no Barack Obama, there was no Venus and Serena Williams when I was younger. There was no Jay Z, there was no Beyonce when I was at elementary school. Okay. We got Michael Jordan, you know, we talked about Martin Luther King, you know, he, he died in 1968. We talked about Malcolm X, you know, he died in 1965. We talked about Harriet, uh, um, Harriet Tubman, Sojourner Truth. I learned about them in elementary school. But see, the elementary school kids now have a different black history, right? Their black history is now coupled with social media. So the black history that, that the kids now will get will be almost purely social media driven, right? 
if if that person, if that black person wasn't making changes that social media could quantify, a lot of the kids now at elementary school won't really pay attention to them. Because elementary school kids now don't know anything about Michael Jordan. They don't know. they Because there was no social media then with Michael Jordan. Kids now don't know about Muhammad Ali or Nelson Mandela. You know, don't know about that. They don't know about, well, the Oprah Winfrey. Well, they, they don't know about Oprah Winfrey, but you know, when, I was, when I was young, Oprah Winfrey was a part of black history. You know, but kids now, because of social media, you will almost... In in ne- in the next twenty years, you will almost have a a purely social media driven Black History Month. Meaning, most, if not all of the all of the the Black history that the kids will receive now, if it if if they'll, they'll, those those they, they couldn't find those Black people on social media, they probably won't identify with them. Like LeBron James, you can find him on social media. Tiger Woods, social media. Uh, Neil deGrasse Tyson, social media. Kobe Bryant, you know, social media here and there. Um, Jay Z, Beyonce, social media. These people that have who, who are if if the youth now, the elementary school and junior high kids now, can identify you on social media, then twenty years from now, when you read about Black History Month, when you hear about Black History Month twenty years from now, it will. I, I would say it will all, almost be purely social media driven. If it ain't on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, Snapchat, uh, Netflix, or whatever, nine times out of ten, in 20 years from now, the kids that grow up you know, to be 26, 27, you know, 20 to 30 year old demographic in the future will almost, almost, almost forget about Anything that happened pre-social media, pre-internet. So what would Black History Month be like in 20 years from now? How how do we grab the youth for Black History Month 20 years from now? What would it look like for 20 years from now? Will we even talk about um, Harriet Tubman anymore? Will we even talk about Carter G. Woodson anymore? Will we even talk about Martin Luther King, Malcolm X anymore? Because they're not on social media. They're not on the internet. What well, point? They are not alive. I should say that. They aren't alive during social media. So, how will the kids identify them quickly? Because I promise you, you ask you ask any child nowadays. Do they know Beyonce? Everybody gonna say yes. Ask that same child, do they know about Elijah Muhammad? Most likely you would get who? Huh? Who's that? Ask him about Muhammad Ali. Who? Huh? Who's that? Ask him about Malcolm X. Ask him about Madam CJ Walker. Ask him about Mm, ask them about Benjamin Banneker. Nine times out of ten, the children now, that won't be in their mind. It, it won't be ingrained in their mind because those names that I just mentioned weren't around for social media. They, they, they're not around for Twitter, Facebook, Snapchat, Instagram, no Netflix and all that stuff. They're not in no, they're not. Their memory is still around. Their influence is still around. But the living flesh individual isn't around. So the youth now, the the kids now, can't they can't see them. Because it's all it's all about technology, it's all about the phone. It's all about you no know, it's all about smartphone. If a child can't find you on this, 
Will they even think about you in 20 years from now? Will they? So, what will Black History Month look like 20 years from now? There will be a new batch of Black History Facts that will be purely social media based. Purely social media based. Long, it, 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 the whole the going into the book and opening the book and pulling and turning the pages and reading the book, that's almost gone. We'll come in terms of black history. And that's it, almost. Almost. It's all about the smartphone. It's all about you know, social media. It's, that's, that's, it's, that's what it is now. That's the evolution of communication, social media. It went from it went from books to computers to smartphones. That's how we get that information. So if that's the case, how will we get our black history information 20 years from now? The six-year-old that's in the first grade learning about black history, will they be learning it from the book? Or will they be learning it from whoever is on social media now? Because if the adults get their information mainly from social media now, you already know the 6, 7-year-old, the 8-year-old, the 9-year-old, the 10, 12, 10, 11, 12-year-old gets their information from social media. Why? Because the, the elementary school kid was born in the age of social media. If you're 30 plus, you weren't born during social media. You weren't born when the internet came out. You were born when people were still on, looking on TV and opening books. The computer, the, the, the personal, no, personal computer, the big clunky computer, that was going on when we were young. This generation now was born into the smartphone, the social media sites, Instagram, the YouTube era. Okay? The generational, generational IT, generational AI, okay? That's your generation now. So all they're going to know is, can I find, can I find this on Snapchat? Does this person have a Snapchat, does this person have a Snapchat name? Does this person have a Twitter account? Now, if Martin Luther King had a Twitter account, it'd be different. But... People are going to find Jay-Z before they find Martin Luther King. The kids now. The kids now. Are because you can find them here. So that's going to be the evolution. So what do we do? Do we keep... What do we do as adults? Do we keep giving the children the old-fashioned way, the old antiquated way of, here, open a book, read about this? Or do we, as adults, adjust also... To the way children receive information and say, okay, the books are almost extinct. Almost, almost. It's all about technology. It's all about, you know, zeros and ones. If you're not talking zeros and ones, then the kids aren't going to really communicate. It's a disconnect, okay? The slang of today is zeros and ones. If you're not talking zeros and ones, uh, if you're not talking Twitter accounts, if you're not talking Instagram, Snapchat, Facebook, Netflix, YouTube, all that stuff, the kids now are not really going to hear you. It's just, it's just not. It's just, it's, it's just not. So we, as adults, instead of instead of pushing it away, we should bring in, okay, black history. The people who are making black history now, Colin Kaepernick. Teach black history through social media. Colin Kaepernick is making black history as we speak. Colin Kaepernick is making black history as we speak. Barack Obama made black history as we speak. The generation now were either born or grew up when they saw a black president. That's black history. So in 20 years from now, is this how it's going? In 20 years from now, those same children in elementary school are going to grow up in junior high and high school and become young adults. 
and they're going to have children, and they're going to teach their kids about when they saw the first black president when they were little. All right, so Black History Month in 20 years. How's it going to be? I don't know, but I see you in the future. Thank you all for watching this video. Leave a comment down below. Like, comment, subscribe, and share. All that good stuff. Catch you all later. Peace.